This story was tagged to me on Twitter by Ashton Lewis. And in case y'all don't know who this is, this is Andrew Cuomo. He is the governor of New York. And if you need more clarification, he is the brother to Chris Cuomo, who is a correspondent and has his own show on CNN. Now, what I thought was very interesting about this story that I'm about to bring to you is how it parallels with something that happened with Chris Cuomo. I believe it was back in August, but I'm going to get to that in a little bit. So what's going on with Governor Andrew Cuomo out of New York is that he was on a radio show and he decided it would be a good idea to tell a, a tell a story or an incident, but also use the N word while on this show. Now, the reason why I brought Chris Cuomo up is because of the incident that happened at some kind of festival back in August. I think it was August when it happened. Now, when he was described, like when he was talking to the person because it was on camera, like y'all can go and look it up and probably know exactly what I'm talking about. I was with him until he mentioned the part about being compared to that of black people. And one thing that really grinds, excuse me, really grinds my gears is when you have non-black people or even non-ADOS people try to compare their plight of what happened probably to their ancestors to that of black people, but if it came down to it, they wouldn't lift a finger to help us. Now, I'm going to take it back a little bit. Who remembers that movie, A Bronx Tale? came out in 1993. That was a very good movie that is definitely helmed up as a classic. But it also told the true story of what happened in the Bronx at that time. Back then, it was literally separate between blacks and Italians. And you saw how in some of the scenes how the Italians treated black people. If you didn't know, Italians only have been considered white for 100 plus years. Not that long. They're literally new to the whole whiteness thing. At one time, they were seen as filthy, especially if you were a Sicilian, because those were considered to be the more darker tone, darker skin Italians. But the minute they got that gift of whiteness from palm colored, they took it and ran off with it and never looked back. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read this story coming from the Atlanta Black Star and see what else they're talking about, because apparently some people are very pissed at him for him and for what he said and for, I guess, the reason that he gave for it. It says some social media users aren't too happy with the New York governor, Andrew Cuomo, after he used both the N word and a slur used to describe Italian immigrants on live radio. Mind you, Chris Cuomo and his brother, Andrew Cuomo, are both Italian. The Democratic governor was reading from a New York Times editorial about the racist language Tuesday when he appeared on the public radio station WAMC in Albany. Pardon my language, but I'm just quoting the Times in. It says in W is as in. I'm not sure because it's blurred out. So I don't know what the other word is supposed to be. If someone can let me know down in the comments what the other word was supposed to be. I'm guessing the word that begins with W was supposed to describe the Italians. But he says N W's N word W's Cuomo said black New York City public advocate Jermaine Williams held the governor to task on Twitter Tuesday and shared a news article with the headline Governor Cuomo drops the N word during live radio interview. This headline brought to you by the 1940s and empowered white privilege, Williams tweeted. He echoed sentiments several other black social media users shared Tuesday. Web critic Diane Austin tweeted, and Andrew Cuomo out here saying the N-word with the hard R. Y'all have well and truly lost your minds today, oh my God. Conservative White House correspondent John Miller tweeted, should Andrew Cuomo get a pass for saying N and then he actually put the entire word out there? Because I thought only blacks were able to say that word. Have the rules changed? Please, leftists, inform us of the new ones, because if that was anyone on the right, they'd be removed from office immediately. The people over at goddamn Fox News have their own goddamn agenda. They they try to do stuff for shock value. Uh, Cuomo, whose parents are both of Italian descent, read the offensive language the day after vowing to support a New York City memorial for Italian-American nun mother Cabrini. He later said his ancestors were often referred to as N, I'm getting NWs. I wish I knew what that W word was. 
um, the New York Times editorial, the governor was referencing analyzed discrimination Italian people face before and after migrating to the United States. Black editorial writer Brent Staples used the headline How Italians Became White for the Peace Saturday. Some were designated whiter and more worthy of citizenship than others. Staples said in an article, while some were ranked as too close to blackness to be socially redeemable. Citing historian Matthew Fry Jacobson, Staples later wrote in the article, darker-skinned Southern Italians endured the penalties of blackness on both sides of the Atlantic. In Italy, Northerners had long held that Southerners, particularly Sicilians, like I said earlier, were an uncivilized and racially inferior people to obviously African to be a part of Europe. Democratic Assembly Speaker Carr Heasty, the first black speaker, said in a media statement he didn't take offense to Cuomo's comments. Of, of course, you have that one that probably wouldn't take offense. The governor was quoting a New York Times story and was using it for context. Well, he. And you know what's so crazy? I'm willing to bet that the Cuomo's, both his brother and, you know, Chris have used this word before in private. Because it just, for, apparently it just flowed right off out of his mouth so freely. And as for that person who said, I don't think he meant it to be racist. He was just using it as context. See, that's the kind of stuff that we don't need. When you have people like that giving passes to people like him. And it's not the first time Cuomo has been accused of getting too comfortable with triggering st- sentiments. He joked with predominantly black parishioners at Harlem's Mount Nebo Baptist Church back in March that Jewish people couldn't dance. I'm a Catholic, he said. J- according to the New York Post, Catholics basically believe the same thing as Baptists believe. We just do it without the rhythm. But we try, we try. We are not without rhythm as our Jewish brothers and sisters. Maurice Mitchell, the national director of the Working Families Party, however, demanded an apology for Cuomo's recent language, according to the NBC New York. That word is a stain on this country's soul, Mitchell said. No white person should use it in any context for any reason, least of all as an example of how he thinks he has been unfairly treated governor cuomo needs to apologize now but like i said this goes back to you having a lot of people especially non ADO west trying to use what we went through as a you know with our plight and try to put it on to themselves but wouldn't do so otherwise and i don't give a damn if he was reading or if he was using it in context he shouldn't have said it at all and then you have people like that damn I'm uh, going to assume is a coon going to give him a pass. And that's another thing we need to stop doing is giving passes to people that don't need them, which as of late is pretty much anybody at this point doesn't need a pass. You will get vetted just like everybody else. When you do this bullshit. But like I said, Chris Cuomo tried that back in um, back in August at that festival. He didn't say the word, but he tried to compare uh, the situation to that of something black people was going through. But this one right here, this Andrew Cuomo, the governor, literally said the word and so he, he used two slurs. He So he used a slur that everyone's familiar with when it comes to us, but then he used a a slur against Italian immigrants as well to describe the plight of what his ancestors went through. If you want to describe the plight of what your ancestors go through, you stick with that. Don't drag us into your, to whatever it is is going on with you. We got enough on our plate to try to be lumped in with everybody else. That's another reason why I don't like that person of color crap. I don't like being lumped in with that because then we got to get lumped in with people like Andrew Cuomo and his brother. And a host of other people. I know we as black people, especially ADOS, have our own issues. But we need to handle our issues alone. Because once we get thrown into everyone else's stuff, that puts ours on the back burner. And then we got to worry about everybody else. And we don't have the time to do that. Let them hold their own nuts and do whatever it is that they got to do. In their case, let them hold their own linguine so we can go on about our day and handle whatever it is we got to handle and they can do them. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next one.